Welcome to episode 2 of my folder decoder series. In these videos, I choose a folder that I've personally used throughout the Bannerick series or that has been suggested by viewers in the comments to highlight in a video. The idea is to break down each folder to see which chips go in the folder and to see how each folder works by splitting the folder up into primary, secondary, and backup chips. You'll also get to see each folder in action during each episode. As a quick disclaimer before we begin, please keep in mind that the folders I feature in this video are not intended to be used in PvP matches. Nut battling online is completely different from playing through the story and post-game content of each Balnoric game, and while I do have some knowledge of PvP in Balnoric 6, I don't have enough knowledge in the other games to recommend any PvP folders. If you enjoy the series, or if you find this episode's highlighted folder to be fun or helpful to use, please give the video a like. Also, don't forget to sub to my channel for more Balnoric content. With that, let's dive into Balnoric 4 for today's Pyrotechnics. Today's folder will be a Balnoric 4 folder that I mentioned in my Red Sun Double Souls Breakdown video, the Decode Heat Spread folder. This folder excels at dealing fire type damage to enemies with 4 copies of Heat Shot, Heat V, and Heat Side all in the decode, giving you 4 copies of the Heat Spread program advance. This program advance deals 300 damage on hit and acts as a spreader hitting all panels around the hit target. While this might not sound too impressive, it's also important to mention that Heat Spread doesn't cause flinching which means you can follow up the heat spread with other chips or with buster shots. The only other primary chip in this folder in my opinion is wood powder in the star code. This chip works perfectly in the folder as it can deal 100 non-flinching damage to enemies that also causes confusion and sets up some grass panels that can make your fire type attacks deal double damage when your enemies are standing on them. Wood powder works perfectly in this folder and it has to be included at 4 copies. If you hit enemies on a grass panel from the wood powder with the heat spread, you're dealing 600 damage to them, 700 damage if the wood powder hits beforehand, and this is all non-flinching damage, meaning you can attack as quickly as you want and follow up with the buster if needed. The best secondary chip that should always be included in the folder is Black Bomb for three good reasons. First off, hitting the bomb with a fire chip causes it to explode, dealing 210 fire damage. Secondly, putting black bomb in the center of your opponent's area means that you can shoot it directly with a heat spread, which ensures that the heat spread will hit your opponent no matter where they are. Lastly, because heat spread doesn't cause flinching, your opponent would take the damage from both the heat spread as well as from the black bomb, a total of 510 damage. This can chunk enemy navvies and is also great at clearing out groups of viruses. The next secondary chip in this folder is of course Invis Star. As I've stated before, this chip is an excellent defensive option that really should be put in every folder you make. It also has the added benefit of letting you go into Search Soul if you're playing Red Sun. And as we know from my Red Sun Double Soul video, Search Soul is busted and great at finding program advanced components in a folder. Lastly, two of my favorite chips make a comeback here. Full Cust and Fast Gauge are valuable chips, letting you get into your custom window as quickly as possible to reload your battle chips. I know it'll be repetitive, but I'll be mentioning these two chips in the vast majority of folder decoder episodes. They're just too important to pass up. Balnoric 4 has tons of decode chips that can work in this folder, but with the chips listed so far, there isn't much space left for support and backup damage. There are however other notable fire chips such as Flameline 2 and Heat Breath in the decode, as well as Flameline 1 in the star code that can be thrown in as a way to set off black bombs. These chips can also be used as sacrifices for Fire Soul if you're playing Red Sun. This folder is actually intended to be used with Fire Soul, so having the extra fire type chips is a good option, especially since this means you won't be wasting a heat spread component for your soul sacrifice. The decode also includes defensive options, including the Giga Chip Life Aura, which is one of the best defensive chips in PvP matches. You can also choose to include Anti-Water D, especially if you plan on using Fire Soul with the folder. 
That being said, these chips are better for PvP than casual play, and since this series focuses on the casual aspect of the game, they're not really needed in a folder, although it can be nice to have Life Aura available to you. Lastly, this folder has some backup chips for damage available to it, including chips such as Air Hockey 1D, Roll Arrow 2D, and Greenwood 2D. Just keep in mind this last chip only hits enemies that are on grass panels. Again, Wood Powder and Fire Soul can actually be your friends here. Here's my final version of the folder that I'll be showcasing in the demonstration portion of the video. As you'll see, this folder does revolve heavily around that heat spread program advance. However, you can choose to sacrifice the heat chips to activate Fire Soul as well if you're playing Red Sun. It's a viable option seeing as this folder is intended to be a fun folder for casual play. The folder of course contains 4 copies of Heat Shot D, Heat VD, and Heat Side D. It also has those 4 copies of Wood Powder Star that I mentioned. With the primary chips out of the way, I filled up the remainder of this folder with the 2 custom gauge chips, 4 copies of Invis, 3 copies of Black Bomb, 2 copies of Flame Line 2, my copy of Life Aura, and two copies of Air Hockey. And that's it for my Balnarek 4 Decode Heat Spread folder. This one can be really fun to use, especially when you watch opponents getting hit by damage from both Heat Spread and Black Bomb at the same time. It may not be the absolute strongest folder that Balnarek 4 has to offer, but that's part of the fun of this series. I'm focusing on a mix of strong and fun folders that I've used in the past, and this is definitely one of the folders that I enjoy using. I also enjoy using Fire Soul with this folder, even if it isn't that great of a double soul to use. Remember, it's all about having fun in the casual game, not PvP. As a reminder, make sure to share your folder ideas in the comments below. If you recommend a code I haven't used much before, I may give it a try and make a folder decoder episode using that chip code. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and go check out episode 1 of this series, where I showcased my favorite folder from Balnaric 3. 
Lastly, don't forget that I'm still streaming the entire Balnark series on my Twitch channel, linked in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.